One morning, on the weekend, I opened the front door to see this cute girl with cat ears standing there. Kana, what's up? And what are you dressed up for? Meow, I'm Mocha. I borrowed this girl's body to repay you for your kindness. What are you talking about? I mean, did you just say Mocha? Master, thank you for everything you've done for me. I was so happy to share my life with you. She's Kana Serizawa, a junior in high school. We're in the same class starting this year, but we've barely talked to each other before. We aren't close friends or anything, so I wondered why she'd do something like this. It made me think of Mocha, my dearest cat that passed away, and I was going to cry. A few days ago... Mocha, why did you leave me behind? I'm Takumi Kiria, a junior in high school. I lived in a pet-friendly apartment with my cat Mocha up until recently. Are you still feeling low? It's time to get back on your feet, man. I know, but I've been with Mocha since I started high school. Whenever I was lonely or going through tough times, she was there for me to help me get through. I guess it's not that easy to move on. You loved her so much. Yeah, I have so many pictures and videos of Mocha on my phone since I adopted her, and I just can't put her out of my mind. She comforted me, especially since I live alone. You were always excited whenever you talked about Mocha. I'm always here if you need a distraction. Chin up. Thanks. I'll take you up on that once I feel better. Hmm. On the weekend, I was struggling to get over Mocha's death in my room alone. Uh, Mocha. Jeez, who is it? And here we are. Master. I want to take care of you to repay you for your kindness. Please allow me to come into your room. Well, Kana, I can't let you do that. I appreciate the thought, though. I'm not Kana. I'm Mocha. Meow. I may be in someone else's body, but my soul belongs to Mocha. Wow, she's not gonna give in, huh? But she came all this way here wearing those cat ears and trying to cheer me up. She must have seen me feeling depressed. Kana, you're so kind. I pretended to be fooled by Kana so she wouldn't feel awkward. Are you really Mocha? Meow, I am. I'm glad to see you again. I've been sad and lonely since you left. I'm sorry I'm such a helpless master. No, you're not. Master, you gave me a lot of love. Thanks for trying to cheer me up. I can't keep dwelling on you. I'll try my best to pull myself together as soon as possible. I'm here for you. Please feel free to come to me whenever you're having a hard time. I I'm fine now, Mocha. You can go back to where you belong. Um, but I haven't done anything to repay you, Master. I can't return home without doing something good in return. Ugh, oh, man. I was just pretending to be fooled by her, but I should probably go with the flow until she's satisfied. Well, then I guess you can help me out. Leave it to me, meow. I had the feeling that maybe Kana was pushing it because she felt like she couldn't turn back. So I decided to ask her to come into my apartment. Your room is messy. Master, I need to borrow your vacuum. Sorry for the mess. I haven't had the motivation to do anything since you left, Mocha. I'll clean it up now. Don't worry, I'll handle everything around the house. I want you to rest, Master. This is my way of repaying you. So please, let me take care of everything. Okay, then I'll leave you to it. Kana was acting like Mocha, but she was moving like a human. It might be inappropriate, but looking at Kana clean my room made me wonder if that was how it looked like having a girlfriend help me around my room. Master, here's your lunch. Please enjoy. Hmm? Where's yours, Kana? I'm not Kana. I'm Mocha. Meow. Oh, that's right. Where's yours, Mocha? I'm not hungry, so I'm fine. Please don't mind me and just enjoy your meal. I can't be the only one eating it. Give me a minute. What are you gonna do? I went to the kitchen. 
15 minutes later. There you go, a rice omelet for mocha. Do you often cook, Master? Of course, I have to because I live alone. Dig in. Bummer. It tastes better than mine. Now I feel bad for you, Master. I'll work on my cooking skills. What are you talking about? Your omelet tastes good too. Master, I want to ask you a favor. What is it? I want to be on your lap, Master. You used to put me there. Kona, you don't have to act like Mocha that much. Okay. Awesome! Well, I want you to pat on my back. Sh sure It made me feel like I was doing something wrong while patting her head. Um, I'm gonna take a bath now. May I ask what you're doing here? I'm here to rinse your back, Master. You don't have to do that, Mocha. Um, you may be Mocha inside, but the body belongs to Kana, right? Don't worry, I'm just a cat, meow. You're blushing while saying that. Well, if you say so, I won't rinse your back. I thought Kana went too far with this one, even though she was just trying to cheer me up. I didn't understand why she had to keep playing Mocha. After that, Kana even cooked us dinner. But I was kind of having a hard time because she didn't look like she was leaving in the evening. Hey, isn't it time to go home soon? No, Master. I'm gonna stay with you tonight. Are you gonna spend the night here? Your home is my home, Master. Maybe she doesn't know when to drop the act, but it'd be weird if she stayed here longer, right? Thank you for today, Mocha. I was so glad to see you again like this. But you should give that body back to Kana, or her family will worry about her. You might be right, but... You have nothing to worry about me. Kana's family will be sad if she's gone, just like I was when you were gone. So... Please make sure to return Kana's body to her. I understand. I'll do what you say, Master. Are you sure you don't want me to walk you home? I'm sure. Cats do well, even in the dark. Meow. Well then, take care. Master, thank you so much for everything. Likewise. Thank you, Mocha. Master, before I leave, excuse me. Meow. What? Okay, bye! Meow! Was that a kiss, or was she just acting like a cat? But, man, Kana was so adorable today! She did so much for me. I gotta pull myself together. The next morning. Good morning, Kana. Good, good morning. Thanks for yesterday. Oh. What are you talking about? You helped me out so much, and I appreciate it. It doesn't make any sense. I was home all day yesterday. Kana might have been embarrassed that she was wearing cat ears and meowing around my room. I figured she was probably planning to play Mocha thoroughly, but I still didn't understand why she went that far for me. Oh, I see. You were home all day. But let me do something as a thank you sometime soon. I don't understand what you're talking about. With that, Kana walked out of the classroom. Did something happen with Kana yesterday? I thought it did, but I might have just seen things. What does that mean? Kana was trying to hide it, so I kept it to myself. The next morning... Uh, it's 37.8 degrees Celsius. It's been a while since I got sick. Living alone is hard in this kind of situation. I guess I'll sleep all day. I called in sick to school and was about to go back to sleep. Hmm? What time is it? Huh? What's this? There's something soft. Whoa! K Kana, what are you doing here? I'm Mocha, meow. I'm here to take care of my master. You have to lock the front door before going to sleep, though. No, no, no. You're Kana, right? Nope. I'm Mocha. Meow. Why did you come here again after you avoided me all day at school? I'm Mocha. Meow. 
Then, Mocha? It's not a good idea to keep borrowing Kana's body. She has to be at school right now, you know? It was an emergency. I came here because you missed school, and I was worried about you, Master. I'm sure Kana will understand. It's just a cold. You live alone, Master. Who knows what could happen? I'll be here with you just in case you need anything. <sighs> okay. Thank you for caring about me. Actually, I was feeling lonely. I'm here now, so everything will be alright. But, you know, you were a bit too much to get in my bed. I wanted to warm it up for you, Master. You have to stay warm when you're sick. Mocha, you could get sick while trying to help me. Thanks, though. That was kind of you. Master, you're sweating. Let's change your pajamas. No, I'm fine. Cat Punch! You have to listen to me! Uh, okay. I never thought I'd have to let a girl change my clothes one day. Well, I was feeling sick and weak after all. It's time to check your temperature. <gasps> oh no, you're still feverish. Mocha stayed with me and took care of me for the rest of the day but I felt like a different kind of fever was getting higher. Thanks to Mocha, my fever went down by the evening. Thanks, Mocha. I feel much better now, so you can go home. I'm worried about you. I'll sleep here tonight. You've done enough. Uh, I want it back, Meow! Without them, I... You don't have to continue acting like Mocha anymore. I know you're Kana. Since when did you notice? Since the very beginning. I just played along with it because you were trying so hard. Really? I was trying my best because I thought you bought that I was really Mocha. But why are you doing this all for me? We're just classmates, but we hadn't really talked to each other. I wanted to thank you for taking such good care of Mocha. I was her former owner. What? I had to move to an apartment before starting high school and give up my cat for adoption because the apartment didn't allow pets. It was too painful for me to say goodbye to my cat, so I let my mom handle the whole adoption process. I was actually watching you take in my cat, Takumi. And I saw you talking about Mocha to your friends at school, and I could tell you really cared about her. That made me happy. You should have said something. Well... I didn't deserve to see Mocha again, and didn't want to interfere with her new life with you. After all, no matter how painful it was, I didn't say the proper goodbye to her that she deserved. You didn't have to worry about that. I just know Mocha was so happy until her last moments because she got a lot of love from you, Takumi. I hope she was. That's why I wanted to thank you. You seemed down these days, so I thought now was the right time. I was pretty embarrassed to act like Mocha, though. I knew it. And that's why you probably felt awkward and avoided me at school. I'm sorry about that. That's okay. You helped me feel better. Watching you act like a cat and trying to cheer me up made me realize that I shouldn't feel depressed forever. You helped me think positively. That's a relief. Um, well, if it's not weird, can I be around you from now on? I want to spend more time with you. I know. We should talk more often because we are in the same class. Um, that's not what I meant. I'm in love with you, Takumi! What? I've been watching you for a long time now, and I've fallen for you because you're so caring. Wow. I'm so happy to hear you say that. I've got a crush on you since the day you helped me clean my room. I was hoping that you'd be my girlfriend. Please go out with me, Kana. I'd love to. Our beloved cat brought Kana and me together. I promised Mocha in my heart that I'd take care of Kana for her sake.